the calories that you're eating but you don't know about and they all add up. Now, most of us in a challenge, we're tracking all of our foods and then we start to see, wow, my food budget gets eaten up quick, especially with coffee, eating out, and then picking at the charcuterie board. Now, before I go on, I want you to put in the comments, what's one thing through your history of tracking that you found took up a ton of calories without you knowing? Now, I remember we did this Nary's Kitchen show and we made what's called punset and we made it the traditional way. And after I looked at all the ingredients, I started adding up in my fitness pal, and lo and behold, one cup of punset was like well over 500 calories. Now, if you don't know what punset is, it's just basically a thin noodle. It's a rice noodle. It tastes great, but you wouldn't know that it's one cup, which is very small, was so calorie loaded. Now you gotta understand what calories are. It's like you make, let's say, $2,500 every two weeks, okay? And what happens is 500 of those dollars just go towards something that you don't even really need. And you're like, oh my God, my paycheck is getting less and less and less. Now you gotta understand that when it comes to weight loss and weight gain, it's almost the exact theory. So if you're burning 2,500 calories in a day, and you have a cup of punset, and then all of a sudden, you know, traditional Filipino, you mix it with the rice, you mix it with the meat, which are all cooked in oils, and what ends up happening is now your 2,500 calorie budget goes down to 1,000. Now you start to add in things like a coffee. Let's say you start your day off with the coffee, but you can't have your coffee black because it just doesn't taste good. So what do you do? You add a couple creamers, maybe you add sugar. Even if you add sweetener, which is probably better than adding the sugar for calorie wise, but as soon as you start adding in those mocha chinos, uh, frappuccinos, et cetera, et cetera, guess what? Those things are like 800 to even up to 1,000 calories if you're getting the double pump caramel. And so now you've basically eliminated all your calories for the day. So now that you've eliminated all your calories of the day where you're not gonna be able to gain weight, now you go out for lunch, okay? You go out for lunch and you're like, well, you know what, I'm gonna eat fresh. I'm gonna have a Subway. And then you start adding mayo into there. You start adding the sweet onion mix in there. And next thing you know, that three to 400 calorie chicken breast with the bread, with all the sauces that you've added on, even vegetables have calories. Next thing you know, you're at 800 calories. So now you're at an 800 calorie surplus. Now you go out at somebody's wedding anniversary. And at the wedding anniversary, you have a glass of wine. You have two glasses of wine. Well, now you're looking at like 250 calories and guess where you're standing and mingling with everybody? You're standing at the charcuterie board. At the charcuterie board, you got your cheeses, you've got your spreads, you got everything that tastes great. <coughs> and you're not looking at what you're eating because why? You're sitting there, you're eating, you're talking, you're enjoying, which you should. But next thing you know, that charcuterie board, those little pieces of cheese, that little cracker that you ate, that little spread that you put on top of that, that, that cracker, next thing you know, you're 1,200 calories, boom. You just consumed 2,000 calories in excess of what you're allowed per day so that you don't gain weight. Now you do this twice a week and maybe throughout the week you're not tracking. Somebody brings donuts to lunch, you have yourself a donut, but yet you still have all that extra food. Next thing you know, you're at a 3,500 calorie surplus on the week, and guess how many calories it takes to gain one pound? 3,500 calories. So guess what? Now you're up a pound. You're up a pound this week, okay? Now, you might not gain a pound a week over the course of you know, six months straight, but it's not impossible to gain 10 pounds a year. How many of us have ever gained 10 pounds in one year? And so all those little events, all those little calories, they all add up. And you might not be aware of it, and so that's why I made this video today. So you gotta understand that maybe if you're not tracking your food, maybe if you go out to eat, how hard is it to, to know exactly what they put into that food? You might be able to put an estimate into your food, but really you're probably underestimating. And what ends up happening is you're wondering why all the hard work that you're putting in why are you not losing more weight? Or why are you not dropping more body fat? So that this video is a quick and educational video that all the small things add up.